God damn it! was the scene today where little Skippy became the latest victim of gun violence. Such a tragedy. When will innocent people cease to become casualties in this world? The good folks at SaveAllDogs.com, SAD, have set up a fund for donations for the owners of Skippy. Please, people, do what you can to keep Skippy in your hearts and prayers. You'll also be happy to know that the owners of Skippy are suing the city for irreparable damages done to their mental and emotional well-being. Let's see here. It also says that three police officers were killed in the incident, and another 15 wounded. To comment on this tragedy is the chief of police. Chief, how's Skippy? Well, it's really a tragedy, and our hearts are with the men and women of... Wait, what? Did you just ask me how the dog was? Well, of course. He was the innocent victim in this whole situation. Are you kidding me? I just lost three officers. <laughs> well, now... Very little compassion for the victim from the chief of police. This, of course, begs the question, do we want men who don't care about their victims to be armed in our society? Are you fucking serious? We're in a six-hour gunfight with heavily armed drug dealers. Why don't you get out of here? Well, it seems we've lost Chief Gestapo. Anyway, I just heard word that Skippy may not lose a leg, although he will have to drop out of his expected frisbee competition this weekend. That's great. We're all pulling for him. Up next, we'll hear from the advocates for against gun ownership. Jesus fucking Christ! Dogs are not people, you fucking morons! You're damn right. Classic hippie bullshit. These officers just went to fucking war with a bunch of shitbags who outmanned and outgunned them. Three gave all. A bunch more in the hospital. And yet these pussies are worked up because Pluto just got hurt. Fucking media spin. Makes me want to tomahawk a fucker. Okay, we are live now with whiny intellectual liberal pussy and the dumbest conservative we could find. Gentlemen, in light of the recent Skippy tragedy, the topic of gun control has once again been pushed to the forefront of conversation. We welcome your thoughts on the matter. Oh yes, well thanks, Tom. This is the maiming of an innocent like Skippy is an abomination and a terrible tragedy. But the real tragedy here is how we still live in a world where people are free to own firearms. I mean, heh, it's just ludicrous. Real power doesn't come from guns. It comes from the mind. If our police would just talk it out with would-be criminals instead of immediately returning fire, this whole situation would have ended peacefully. Trust me, if it wasn't for guns, Skippy would still have his leg today. <laughs> You damn liberals, I got my rights! Butterball turkey, constitution, Plato stuck in a dryer. You know who else took our guns? Pontius Pilate. Next thing you know, communist aliens everywhere. I done seen it. Gotta be strong now, Arabs are watching. Mock my words. <laughs> Typical far right rebuttal. Hiding behind the outdated constitution. The Founding Fathers were all like Second Amendment this and all limited government that, but you forgot that they lived in a time of slavery, muskets, and threat of invasion. Today there's no reason to fear the government. The government loves us. They give us free stuff, take care of us, and tuck us in at night. The fact is we will never be in a civilized society until we confiscate and destroy every single firearm in existence, and simply listen to the guidance that the government has to offer. You can take my gun when you pry it from my cold trigger fingers, you capri wearing son of a bitch! I'll tell you another thing! I can't believe it! 
teeth of Washington. Is that truly the best discourse they had to offer? To say that devolved is an insult to devolution. Neither of them could string together a coherent thought to support that cause. Fucking A right. Every anti gun guy on TV is a pussy who's never handled a weapon in his whole fucking life. And every pro gun guy is literally the dumbest motherfucking soup sandwich they can find. The only thing that guy had in common with George Washington was missing teeth. The argument's fucking simple. Violence is as much a part of humanity as love, friendship, and fourth meal. You can't prevent it. Only guard yourself against it. God damn it! It's so fucking simple. It hurts to even say it. Take away the guns, and only criminals will have the guns. Even if they had to buy them from a black market dealer, build them in a freaking cave somewhere, if they want one, they're gonna get one. You just can't uninvent the shit. Okay, we're now live at City Hall, where the mayor is expected to speak on the Skippy shooting. People of Freedom Field Townville, it is with a heavy heart that I address you today. The world has gotten darker. We live in a time where it isn't safe to go to school or a movie without being afraid of being another victim of gun violence. Is it the fault of the evil criminals engaging in a firefight with our police? Should we blame the terrorists who were bred to hate us? Or maybe the one person out of millions who is simply born a psychopath and enjoys committing heinous crimes for no reason? No, my friends! The fault lies squarely on the weapons that allow these crimes to happen. So as of now, I decree that the city of Freedom Field Townville will no longer allow the ownership of firearms of any sort by any person! To set the example, the Freedom Field Townville Police Department will be replacing all their firearms with edge weapons. The patrolmen will carry tridents, while our bike cops will be outfitted in state-of-the-art jousting lances. <laughs> People, let us usher in a new era of bullet-free violence. And let me state clearly, as God is my witness, I will not abide our peacekeepers thwarting any horrific crime to person or property if even one Skippy is injured as a result! Yeah! Holy shit. Here we go again. These fuckers have no sense of history. Indeed. I believe we've untwined this tale at least a baker's dozen times. Yep, Turkey, 1911. 1.5 million Armenians killed. Soviet Union, 1929. 20 million political descendants killed. China, 1935. 20 million anti-communists killed. Germany, 1938. 13 million Jews and political dissidents killed. Cambodia, 1956. 1 million educated people killed. Guatemala, 1964. A hundred thousand political dissidents killed. Uganda, 1970. Three hundred thousand Christians killed. Arctic Circle, 1982. Two million baby seals clubbed. We were defenseless. Without our MP5s, the water ran red with blood. But I got even. Whether we like to fucking admit it or not, shit can go south quickly. Guns make fucking sure the government answers to the people and not the other fucking way around. Goddamn right. If a SWAT team ever hits my house, they'll be fucking out gun for sure. Oh, very well then, gentlemen. Laws are laws. Shall we uh, head to the center of commerce and turn in our side off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good indeed. live here at the house of professional football player Pickashawn Jackson, which earlier today was a horrific crime. It seems Mr. Jackson used his piece of trident to stab his girlfriend nine times before turning it on himself. Such a tragedy indeed, Trish. 
I understand the family of the girlfriend is not blaming Mr. Jackson because he was very stressed out at work and had stubbed his toe only that very morning, which we understand was very, very painful. The real culprit, they believe, are the evil corporate trident manufacturers for allowing their product to be dangerous when in the hands of a violent person. They filled suit this morning. In other news, we've lost 37 police officers this week to gunfire. Many believe that they are brandishing their tridents too aggressively towards the criminals that they are trying to arrest. Oh, what is this? The mayor has called an impromptu press conference. We go now live to City Hall. Recent events have made it abundantly clear that our measures banning firearms did not go far enough! We are now expanding the citywide ban on firearms to also include all edged weapons! The FPD will now be carrying wiffle bats! And citizens may own personal protection wiffle bats no longer than 16 inches in length! Any wiffle bat over 16 inches in length is considered an assault wiffle bat and will therefore be unnecessary for the ordinary people to own them! <laughs> what the fuck?! Ah, oh, gentlemen, perhaps it has gotten to the point where we should act as voices of reason in this burgeoning affair. Fuck that. I'd rather drink whiskey. Yep! Humphrey? I think there's an intruder downstairs. Oh, you must do something. Oh, don't worry, honey, I'll protect you. <gasps> Take that, you scoundrel! Ah! Oh, 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 oh! Guns are illegal. You, you're not allowed to have that. That's cheating. No fair! And we understand that the robber is now suing the estate of the family for welts he received from the Wiffle Bat thrashing he endured. Such a tragedy. You can donate to the Wiffle Tragedy Foundation to help recovering Wiffle Bat victims. Please consider donating to the WTF. Back to you, Trish. Once again, we are a people struck by catastrophe! We overlook the hidden dangers in Wiffle Bat ownership! Especially when these bats are filled with water and then frozen. As such, we are now adding wiffle bats to the list of bad weapons. In place is now a system of communication slips citizens are to pass out for dealing with conflict resolution. These feelings about imminent law-breaking slips, or fail slips, will be mailed to every citizen to be used immediately. When faced with a potentially violent situation, just tell the person your feelings about the infraction with one of your fail slips. And I assure you, the situation will be promptly resolved. My good people, we have truly reached the high point of advanced civilization. Okay now, I really think we should be doing something now. Don't be hasty, fuckstick. Try to look at your glasses half full. 
Wait a second. My glass is only half full. God damn it! Waitress, fill this fucking thing up! Come now. Gunny, do where he is. Should we not head over to the office of the mayor to help resolve this downward spiral? They want us? We're here. Fucking bat phone hasn't rung in years anyway. Now is the hour of our greatest glory. The city of Freedom Field Townville has most stupidly outlawed the weapons and is now completely defenseless. We will attack tomorrow in force, invade the town and seize City Hall. Sleep well, comrades. Glory will soon be ours. Assault like he always does. I'm taking the right. You take the left. And Seely, you. Wait. Where the fuck is Seely? I haven't seen him. Ah, uh, yes. I thought he was with you. You know, doing gruntish things. The hell is that? Fuck if I know. It's coming from over there. Ah, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, I 
I think it's a peace offering from the townsfolk. Yeah, we should bring it into our walls where it's safe. Good idea. This isn't suspicious at all. <laughs> Well, I'll be damned! The old Trojan seal trick! Yeah, I guess it's a good thing they're not history buffs. <laughs> oh, fellow bad guys, we have achieved a great victory. Let this statue be a symbol of the great glory of our new nation. So, fuckface, look around. You're outnumbered, and that's only counting me. <laughs> Ice Goose! Well, gents, it appears this bird has come home to roost. <clears throat> Mr. Mayor, how could you? You don't recognize me, do you? Uh, Brent Musburger? How about now? Holy fuck! Tiller! Ah, I should have fucking known. You are correct. You should have. Sometimes I'm amazed at how easy it is. You see, disarming the people was only the first phase. Now that they are unprotected, we are free to invade without resistance. But Freedom Field Townville is only the beginning! Soon, all of America will replace their weapons with fail slips. After which, our troops will be joined by remnants of Al-Qaeda, Iran, and Neo-Nazis from the Dakotas. We will conquer the whole of the country and establish the fourth and greatest Reich of all! Guten Tag, Fraulein! This is so fucked up. Why didn't he shoot me instead of Ice Goose? I mean, I'm clearly the biggest threat. Well, maybe 15 years ago. Right now, I'm the bigger threat. Look at this fucking firepower! It's not the size that matters, devil douche. Just ask your mom. Fuck you, motherfucker! I'll beat your ass right here! I was wondering what was going to break first. Your body or your teamwork? Bane. Actually... Brad Pitt! What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, you did songs with these good looks, duh. Chanel, number five. As the blood drains from my body, I must still admit I gaze transfixed at his roguish countenance. That he is quite a breathtaking man. Looks like this is the final solution. I hope your death is painful. shoot you in the face, and the chest, and maybe the balls. 
Well, if this is indeed our finest hour, let us settle it as men. Throw down your weapons. Let's see what you've got. Talk to me, Ice Goose. <coughs> Fine show, old boys. I dare say one for the books. <coughs> Come on, man, you gotta pull through. Oh, my canine companion. I harbor no fantasies. Fate has finally caught up with this old fly boy. I may have flown my last solo mission. I shall meet my maker with dignity. My only regret? I never danced in the rain. You're dancing now, buddy. You're dancing now. Wait a second. What the fuck? You've got a sappy plate on. Oh, well, but it still hurts. God damn it. I thought you were a goner, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna fucking throttle your ass. Oh, well, now. I believe we do have bigger problems than that. Like what? I called in a drone strike on our area. When the fuck? Oh shit! Oh, what the shit. fuck? When the fuck were you gonna tell us, asshole? Well, I figured we'd all go down together, brothers in arms. Assholes wasted my day. Ice Goose got shot, and I lost a nice glass of whiskey to a bullet, all because of what? Fear. You're all afraid. You're afraid of criminals. You're afraid of terrorists. And you know what? You should be afraid of them. Because if you aren't, it's easy to pretend they don't exist. And that's the most dangerous thing of all. But that doesn't mean you quit on freedom. That can't be the answer. It can't be. You have all these rights. Privacy, speech, assembly, religion. And yeah, you have the right to bear some motherfucking arms. And that right has nothing to do with fucking hunting. It exists so that if some stupid cocksucker breaks into your house and thinks he's going to hurt you or your family, you can shoot him in the fucking face. It exists so that if the government tries to go all crazy eyes George the Third on you, you can make a decision about whether you're going to bend over and take it or give him a lead necklace. It exists because without weapons, all you can do is hope that our men will be fair and honest. Well, guess fucking what? Hope is not a plan, and when people use it as one, they tend to take it up the fourth point of contact. I get it. Guns are fucking scary, and they should be scary. Everyone should have a healthy respect for weapons, the way they should about driving an automobile or walking down the stairs. Two things that kill a lot more fucking people every year than guns. No matter how hard we try, we can't legislate away danger. There will always be bad men in the shadows. There will always be murderers and rapists and boy bands. There will always be terrorists. There will always be men who just want to watch the world burn. And even if you outlawed every gun on the planet, those men would still have them. The only difference is, we wouldn't.
more pins! No 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 more pins! God damn it! Sending you to hell. I've been chasing trouble all night. It's a damn good day for setting, setting things right. I don't walk soft, but I carry a big stick. Your heart will start pounding when you hear my hammers click. Let's find the Trouble all night It's a damn good day for setting